So the other one is functions. Functions, you can create a function like this. Const uh, function one equals to function that takes two parameters a and b and returns a plus b. The object oriented way or the object way is going to be const function two equals to new function and the code is going to be really weird. You're gonna add a b and here we're gonna add another co comma return a plus b. So definitely uh, I don't recommend to use this. For me this approach is way better. So we're gonna add function one and function two. So save this and we need to pass uh, something here. We're gonna pass two plus three and uh, four, five plus five. So you can see here that both functions are working. You can also create objects. So an object normally is going to be like person one equals to name. And I'm gonna add my name here. You can add yours, person two equals to new object. And then you pass in the parentheses the object like this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna remove this. And we're gonna send to the console the persons. So we have an error, person is already declared and you can see here on the top, yes, we have person two. So I'm gonna comment this and you can see that both are printing the same because here we're using the uh, object to create an object and the other one is already an object. So the last example is going to be arrays. You can create an array like this, array one, square brackets, one, two, three, four. And you can also create array two equals to new array. And uh, you can add one, two, three, four, five without the, the square brackets. So uh, send these values to the console. And now you can see that we have two different arrays. So you can see that all the data types that we have in JavaScript will have also the object way to create something like this. And the new keyword is going to create a new instance. So hopefully this syntax that we saw in the last video, new client, makes sense at this point. So in the next video, let's see a really important topic that is called the prototypes.